receive Bishop Manuel Brady. He's coming. We're going to go up in our Amen. Can we give God a wonderful hand for you? That was wonderful. As you know, the devil tried to blast you. But I believe in 2014, you're going to make the devil pay. Yeah! So you can tell somebody to make the devil pay. Don't go through what you're going through for nothing. You don't get nothing for that game. If the devil's going to come mess with you, he's going to bring it, make him bring it direct. Am I right about it? Yeah. Of course, you can be seated. I'm going to give some direction. You're going to, if you set these, it's a little bit. You're going to give it to us in the show. You're going to have a podium. consecrated bishops and setting and pastors over and over and, and, and the pageantry is wonderful but sometimes the pageantry gets in the way of the purpose yeah. Yeah. and so I'm happy to be a part of something today that gets down to the very centers of what was ne yes. necessary for the bishopry yes. now the Roman Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church somewhere around the Tiffany 11th century born in all of the pomp and circumstance that we see today and it's alright to celebrate as long as it doesn't violate the scripture and do the scripture any violence but never get it mixed up that that's because we don't go through all of that rudiment that is any less significant than what's about to happen here today Amen. what's getting ready to happen in this arena has already happened in the arena of yeah. heaven and we bring heaven into earth Jesus. we bring that holy city to this city Understand that we have redesigned this program to bring out the essentials of what is necessary for you to understand as a congregation and for us to understand as a holy body, yes. a holy seat, and exactly what your next forte is going to be in the future. I would like for Bishop and Pastor to come and take your seats here. Elders, if you would stand behind the pastor and your bishops, and you praise God as they come. We are literally walking to destiny with every step they take. Um, <coughs> the Bible declares that the tradition of men make the work of those Always remember there's a difference between legacy and tradition. 
there are some people that are absolutely in love with tradition. And what's about to happen here is legacy. That's what the enemy was after in his attack. He wanted to stop the legacy. All that tradition and stuff that y'all like to pop and show each other, that's a man's choice, but legacy yeah. is God's choice. Yeah. And no man can stop it. So glad. You could be a swindler like Jacob, and your legacy is going to find you because the whole will not flow until the right hand gets on it. That's what Bishop Brady calls. That's right. That's right. So you can bring all of, of David's brothers before him and try to do things your way until David brings his stinky little self away from them sheep. The whole will not flow. And still your praise family. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Bishop Brady, the grace. This church of God, the clergy, the people of the city of Praise Family Ministries, the Bishop's Council, the River Fellowship International. Trusting in the guidance of the Holy Spirit, have elected Joe R. Peoples to be a bishop in the Lord's Church. We therefore ask you to lay your hands upon him in the power of the Holy Spirit to consecrate him a bishop in the one holy universal and apostolic church. And further, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we have heard testimony given that Joe R. Peoples has been duly lawfully elected to be a bishop of the Church of God to serve in the Christ in Christ's most holy church. And you have been assured of his suitability that the church has approved him for the sake of responsibility. Yes. Nevertheless, if any of you know of any reason why we should not proceed and can provide validation of such, let it be made known forever hold your peace. As it is, Bishop Lee. Bishop Joel Peoples, Please repeat this declaration after me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I, Joel R. Peoples. I, Joel R. Peoples. Chosen Bishop of the City of Praise Ministry. Chosen Bishop of the City of Praise Ministries. Solemnly declare that I do believe the Holy Scripture. Solemnly declare that I do believe the Holy Scriptures. The Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testament to be the Word of God. The Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testament to be the Word of God. And to contain all things necessary to salvation. And to contain all things necessary to salvation. And I do solemnly engage to conform to the doctrine, the discipline, and the worship of the Episcopal Church. I do solemnly engage to confirm to the doctrine, discipline, and worship of the Episcopal Church. Now, congregation, you'll respond. Now to the congregation, it is, is it your will that we ordain Joel R. Peoples a bishop? If so, respond by saying, this is our will. This is our will. Will you uphold Joel Peoples as bishop? If so, respond by saying, we will. We will. Now the examination. My brother, the people have chosen you and have affirmed their trust in you by claiming your election. A bishop in God's holy church is called to be one with the apostles in proclaiming Christ's resurrection, in interpreting the gospel and to testify to Christ's sovereignty as Lord of Lords and King of Kings. You are to guard the faith, unity, and the discipline of the church, to celebrate and to provide for the administration of the sacraments of the new covenant, to ordain elders, appoint deacons, and to join in ordaining bishops, and to be all things, in all things, a faithful pastor and a wholesome example of the entire flock of Christ. With your fellow bishops, you will share in the leadership of the church throughout the world. Your heritage is the faith of patriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs and those of every generation 
who have looked to God in hope. Your joy will be to follow him who came, not to be saved, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Now, Bishop Gillick, I will lead you in the affirmation statements. Bishop Peoples, are you persuaded that God has called you to the office of bishop? I am so persuaded. Will you accept this call and fulfill this trust in obedience to Christ? I will obey Christ and will serve in his name. Will you be faithful in prayer and in the study of the Holy Scripture that you may have the mind of Christ? I will, for he is my help. Will you boldly proclaim and interpret the gospel of Christ, enlightening the minds and stirring up the conscience of your people? I will in the power of the Spirit. And as a chief priest and pastor, will you encourage and support all baptized people in their gifts and ministries, nourish them from the riches of God's grace, pray for them without ceasing, and celebrate with them in the sacraments of our redemption? In the name of Christ, the shepherd and bishop of our souls. And will you guard the faith, unity, and discipline of the church? I will for the love of God. Will you share with your fellow bishops and the government of the whole church? Will you sustain your fellow presbyters and take counsel with them? Will you guide and strengthen the deacons and all others who minister in the church? I will by the grace given to me. Will you be merciful to all, show compassion to the poor and strangers, and defend those who have no helper? I will for the sake of Christ Jesus. Joel Peebles. Through these promises, you have committed yourself to God to serve his church in the office of bishop. We therefore call upon you, chosen to be a guardian of the church's faith, to lead us in the confession of that faith. You will begin and I will join with you. We will believe in one God. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and, and all that is seen and, and unseen. We believe, we believe in our Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from God, begotten, not made, of one Father to the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified on the cross Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. And we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Any pillows, but I'm going to need you to kneel before the presiding prayer. Elders, if you would help. Yes, Pastor. Just like you were right here. Pastor, if you would join. Everybody standing. Bishop is going to lay hands and anoint. Do we have any more? Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you, brother. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. It's making my knees hurt. Amen. If you would take your neighbor by the hand, we're going to come into unification in this consecration and elevation of 
of our dear brother, my friend, my co-bishop, and your Episcopal man of God. Great God, we reverence your presence. We come into agreement with this moment. That now as earthly hands that have been ordained, but yet fleshly, lay their hand upon this bishop's head. That sovereignly you will slip your divine hand under mine. Touch and anoint from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. I thank you today, God, and even in this consecration, commitment of elevation, that as of this moment, every weapon that has been formed by the enemy to kill, steal, and destroy and stop. Be cut off now. Yeah. Yeah. Even as my hand is laid upon you, I pray for the mind of Christ as never before to navigate, give divine direction to this your people in the household of faith. I pray that his heart pump with purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That his feet will walk yes. in the order of the ordination of your divine design. Yes. I thank you for the mantle of Episcopal passage. That this very moment the heavens open. The man sukorian sakaya, the approval of your Holy Spirit. Now come, now rest, Jesus. and abide upon this your servant, yes. both now and forevermore. We announce in the earth what you've already proclaimed in the heavens. Yes. That this your bishop, Bishop Joy of our peoples, We'll walk in Episcopal authority from this day forward the rest of his long life. Jesus. And before the end of 2014, saith the Lord, I shall cause even the enemies to repent. I will cause those that have made a commitment one with the other to kill and destroy the life of God that is raised up within this vessel. Jesus. I will cause the enemy to turn on themselves. They shall begin to devour their own flesh. For the mouth of God spoken this. Every man shall be a liar and God be true. Jesus. Because you have chosen, O man of God, the root to refuse bitterness. I will cause your name to be raised high. I will cause it to be echoed to the corners of the world, the globe, the earth. You'll be known throughout the continent of Africa and Europe, and even to the Far East. And I shall cause, yea, even in this city, I will 
will cause even fathers now to turn with approval and even public proclamation that this is the doings Jesus. of the Lord. Thank you, Father. I shall cause unprecedented favor to find you Jesus. and follow you. Jesus. You shall never worry or fret about the finances of the future. Jesus. Because I'm going before thee, saith the Lord. And every step you take toward my purpose, the finances, the money for the vision will always be there waiting for you. Yes, saith the Lord, you will never have to pray and turn and look and ask and believe or beg for the finances to complete the vision. For I have released a wealth of anointing upon you. That your favor will find your faithfulness. Jesus. Jesus. And every door that you walk through, every doorway and passage of purpose, know that the supply is already there waiting for you. Already. Thank you, Father. So won't for nothing like for nothing. Be without anything. Jesus. Even in 2015, I see, say unto the Lord in the word, a prophetic unction and utterance. Jesus. There's even a new home in the natural. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. A new home. For even the things that were promised aforetime that were written in spoken that would belong to you that has been removed by the acts of the enemy. The Spirit of the Lord said that that I'm going to give you is beyond and will surpass even the things promised to you. Jesus. And I will fill that house with all good things, great things. You shall not be under the pressure, saith the Lord. And even in your physical frame, doth the Lord reverse every curse. Everything that's fighting against you, the Lord reverses. And the process starts now, saith the Lord. I shall touch your body. Touch even the structure of the bones, the marrow. Even the blood, the bloodstream, the blood flow, I will touch, saith the Lord. For with long life shall you stand by this man and raise up this to your people. Yea, there shall not be an anointing of elevation upon the man without the anointing of elevation resting upon you. Jesus. For how shall two walk together unless they agree and can see eye to eye? Jesus. For this day, the Lord yes. releases fresh oil. Jesus. A Jesus. Oil. He releases fresh oil upon you also, daughter. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the things that you concern yourself about, yes. the Lord God Almighty shall intervene. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I don't know, daughter, if you realize how close to God you are, because it would never be something you would talk about. But you you do know what I'm saying because of the personal visitations of the Lord Jesus. And it wouldn't be something that you would share publicly. Because it's always been a private encounter. Yes. And because you have the heart of a worshiper. Mm. God said to tell you, I've got your back. <laughs> and your heart. Oh. All the days of your life. And it shall be so. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken Jesus. it. And it is so. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bishop, the Lord yes, is going to reward you for your experience.
Bishop already indicated. Refusal to be bitter. As a matter of fact, there's going to be a circumstance where you're going to have to come and even help those who sought to bring you down. And God says, because of this Joseph-like anointing on your life, the Christ-like ability to forgive and restore, it will cause those who are about to have a visitation to hell to repent and write their lives. And the example shall ripple throughout all of this nation. Thank you, Father. And other pastors will be convicted Thank you, by your compassion. Thank and all the negative press that you receive, Jesus. I'm going to double it with positive Jesus. press. Jesus. 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 That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why. It's not your choice. 
Say it for the Lord that it's not your decision, say it. Yes. Yes. Who you receive and accept. That shall cause the spirit of Jubilee to come. That shall cause the spirit of Jubilee to come. And it shall be echoed around the world of the glory that rests upon you and rests upon the city of praise. unfinished business and vision in his heart. Yeah. Say that again. The Lord said the mantle to finish has fallen upon you. Yeah. Yeah. The mantle of your mother upon your wife. Yeah. And when you go back into this place of praise, God said, I'm going to send the press to record restoration. Part of restoring your name, restoring your family, giving your children the dignity back for what was said in the school behind their back because their schoolmates parents say something against their parents. But God said, I'm going to vindicate every one of your children. I'm going to vindicate the family. I'm going to vindicate everyone that stood. And God says to this congregation, I'm getting ready to reward those of you who were loyal with faithfulness. Who pull the soul out and say, we shall die together if we die. Your jobs are coming. Your promotions are coming. Your businesses are coming. Entrepreneurship is coming. Appointments are coming. Because God That will help young girls, teenage girls, girls that have fallen into hard times in pregnancy. God said there's ministry in you that has not even been formulated yet. It swirls around in your mind when you drive. When you're worshiping, sometimes a lot of pop ideas in your head in the middle of worship. God says, when I bring y'all back, I'm bringing you back strong. And some of those things I held back because I did not want them manifested in the middle of a mess. But God says, when I clean this mess up, all the things that have been held up and stopped up will start to flow. And you'll understand why you couldn't do it in 2010 and 2009. God says it's about to be the season of those that will walk beyond reason. It is the time for the city to give true praise. Say it the Lord. Say it the Lord. Shout in this house. Praise him in this house.
what has taken place by only divine sovereignty. Jesus. But if you get through that, the wealth that is coming, I see, I see, I see increasing unprecedented wealth. I see multimillionaires being raised up in this house. And the new level of wealth will create a whole new level of enemies. But God said, don't even fret the enemies. Don't even give them any attention. Don't even pay them no mind. That's right. Because it's only temporary too. Say it, brother. Put your hands together. Give God praise. ordinance with the vestments and nothing, 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 nothing wrong with that. But I think God is establishing a new paradigm. There will be prophetic after the vestments. There will be the prophetic before. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord spoke to me while we were while I was in Dallas and briefly mentioned it to your bishop. Put an unction, my spirit, and I, I brought my own personal, my own personal apostles, wow. ring and bishops. Wow. Ring this, this is actually the bishop's stone is purple. Chief Apostle Stone is red. And the Lord spoke to me to bring this. Thank you, Father. The one I've wore for many years in consecration to install bishops and leaders all over the nation, from South Africa to Europe, from the islands, the Caribbean islands to Hawaii, and all over the U.S. This ring, this ring has been worn and laid on many, many great men's head. So the Lord spoke to me today to bring this. Jesus. Give this to you. Wow. Bless you. something you 
get an exchange of that measure, that matter. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why I'm sewing this bishop's ring, this apostle's ring, because I'm believing for exchange. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.